Welcome everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. And in today's episode, I want to talk about the Sensei Active Bedbug Lure. And so this is a new product that I actually was involved with the development with. And uh, it's actually a bedbug lure that was designed at Rutgers University. And uh, what it does is it actually mimics the chemicals on the surface of your skin. And what we know is that when bed bugs are looking for food, they're looking for three different things. They're looking for carbon dioxide, which is what we exhale. Now, obviously, that's the strongest portion of what's attracting bed bugs to food. But what they're also looking for is heat, which obviously you generate, and chemicals on the surface of your skin. There's actually been research that's shown that sweaty clothes are actually attractive to bed bugs. It's also why we think bed bugs end up on suitcases, because obviously suitcases have your clothes inside them, and that, of course, smells like you. And so the lure has been packaged into these uh, little, I, I like to joke around, they call them uh, handy wipe packs. Uh, they look kind of like handy wipes that you would get at you know, a restaurant after you eat dinner. And so what's inside this packet is a towelette that actually has the lure inside and absorbed into that towelette. Now, what you see me doing already is wearing gloves. And it says, you know, the first point I want to make is that whenever you're using the active bed bug lure, you want to follow the directions on the front and the back of the packet. It's going to tell you exactly how to use it and how to open it and, and, and whatnot properly. And one of the things you'll find is it says to wear gloves. And so you see I have gloves on. And so you want to follow the directions on the packet. And one of the, it seems simple and straightforward, but it's not. I've seen many people mess it up, where you want to be very careful how you open up the packet. And so you can see here, it says tear along the line. And so what a lot of people do is that they go at this thing like it's a birthday present. And they take it and they quickly tear it open. Now that's not how you want to go about it, because now you've opened it up so much so that the lure is going to come out of here very rapidly. And... Uh, it's going to probably volatilize quicker than it's supposed to be volatilizing. And so when we take about a packet that's opened the correct way, it should be open right along that tear line. And when you do that, you want to make sure you tear it very slowly and so that it tears right along that line. And there you have a packet with a small corner of the towelette showing, and then that way it's volatilizing much slower and will be a much more hopefully controlled volatilization. And so what I said before, I want to reiterate, you do not want to take that towelette out of the packet. The towelette is meant to stay in. Again, people think these are like handy wipe packs, and so they try to take the towelette out. The towelette stays in. It's not meant to be removed. And so what you'll do is after you open it, you'll smell it. It kind of has like, a, I think, a rotten citrusy smell. It definitely has a distinct odor to it. Most people don't think it's overly offensive. And again, mimicking chemicals on the surface of the skin. And so you can now take this active packet and incorporate it with all kinds of different bed bug monitoring devices. We've seen them used with glue boards. We've seen them used with interception devices. And what I'm going to use for example's sake today is the other product that I've been involved with the development with is the Sensei Volcano bed bug detector. And so it comes in two parts. You can take the active packet, go ahead and put it right on that bottom, and snap that bottom in place. When you do so, you want to make sure the active packet isn't pinched in the sidewall and you see the bottom is clear and you want to make sure you can read the little Made in the USA logo and the recycling logo and that the textured square in the middle is on the inside of the device not on the outside that way you make sure the bottom is in place so now we have what we call an active volcano now this lure as I said mimics chemicals on the surface of the skin the analogy I use is a sweaty shirt and so what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and place this in areas that you think bed bugs are going to move to gain access to the bed behind me. So when a bed bug walks off of, let's say, a suitcase, a lot of people think it's a direct line for bed bugs to move from point A to point B. So they're introduced here, there's food here, people think it's a direct line. Many times it's not. It's actually a very random host-seeking pattern. And a lot of times when bed bugs go from point of introduction to food, they'll walk along seams and edges. Baseboards are the perfect example. And so when we talk about setting these for detecting bed bugs moving forward proactively, so bed bugs are in this environment and they may be introduced in the future, we're recommending you put one of these on the head side of each bed on the floor. And so when we look at this bed, we'll pick the sheet up real quick. And this is just for demonstration purposes. I'm sure everybody gets the point. But you want to go ahead and put one on the head side, on the ground, to each side of the bed. And so as bed bugs 
move towards the bed, they're going to hopefully encounter that and say, ooh, this smells like a sweaty shirt, and that smells like food to me, I'm going to inspect it and check it out. And then hopefully they commit to that device, fall inside, and then you've detected your bed bug infestation. And so that's how we're recommending using them proactively. As far as reactively, you know, you have bed bugs and you're installing these. If you want to do that, um, you're really going to need to read the infestation and then set your expectations based upon how many bugs you have there. You know, if you have lots of bugs, you may want to put them where I just showed you. You may want to put them next to each leg. Any, you know, as many as you set, the more you set, the bigger chance you have of catching bugs. If you only have five bed bugs in your bed and you put two of these under the bed, there's a chance they could catch it, but there's also a chance they may not. You know, if there's five bugs in that bed and you're sleeping in the bed, why are the bugs going to leave the bed? If the carbon dioxide and the heat and the chemicals are in the bed because you're in the bed, what's to say those five bugs are going to come down in the first place? And if they do, they come down and encounter that device. Uh, so again, reactively, we probably recommend next to each leg because it's tough to predict when and where the bugs are going to come down off of that bed. And so that is the Sensei bed bug, uh, Sensei active bed bug lure. Uh, mimics chemicals on the surface of the skin, can be incorporated with lots of different bed bug monitors, and uh, we're excited about putting it out there. We think it's got some, some real potential in a lot of different environments to detect bed bugs. So if you have any questions on Sensei active bed bug lure, the volcano which I showed in this, or anything about bed bug monitoring, you know the email address, jeff.white at bedbugcentral.com, and I hope to see everybody soon enough.